Hello everyone, it is Rob the Replicator here. I am doing the top three CG moments of 2022 for me. Um, and before we do that, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who subscribed. We hit 1,000 subscribers. I asked CG to subscribe and I got a lot of CG people and some Ripperverse people. So welcome everyone. Thank you very, very, very much. All right, so let's get into it. The number three moment for me uh, is the Reaper Destroyer launch. Uh, we, we saw the launch on uh, Michael Brankoff's show and then followed up on uh, Lord Crackhead's show. Uh, Joe also did a couple of pre-launch shows. The reason why it's number three for me is I just think it shows you, like, as a new creator, what, what is the potential, what you can possibly do with your, with your book, you know, as long as, like, trying to maximise every single bit of success. Uh, possible. And I think Joe's done that. He spent time, he's built his own audience uh, by himself and with Sean, obviously. Um, he hired the best artists he could possibly hire. Um, and I just think, yeah, like I said, this is like the, the gold standard of what, what you can potentially achieve, I think, for a first timer. Uh, I think he's done an absolutely outstanding job. And you know, it's inspiring. It really is. It's inspiring. It, it makes you, it, it made me happy for days afterwards because it, it, like I said, it make, it made, it, it put in perspective what, what you can actually do if you follow all the right steps and do everything the best you possibly can. Uh, you know, he built a good fan base, incredible artists, promoted, helped, shared, did did all the things. The IP is interesting. He 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 really did an absolutely outstanding job. So that was my third best moment of CG 2022. The launch of Reaper Destroyer and the success and how quickly it came. I think he had a hundred backers within uh, ten. I, I don't even know. Within ten minutes, it was crazy. It was it was absolutely insane. So that was number three for me. What do you think of that? The next, this is probably my actual favorite moment of the year, but I'm going to give it the number two slot. I think it's something that people should be talking about more. Uh, Lord Crackhead and the, the gang's uh, 1,000 subscriber, subscriber giveaway. So this started off with Jeremy just wanting to give away something uh, when he hit 1,000 subscribers to the fans. Give back, you know, solid, love it, fantastic. It kind of snowballed from there and it just kind of and that's why i love comic skate because you have one guy who's trying to do one good thing and everyone else jumps on board so you had kenneth roquefort donate an original art sketch and they, like th these aren't easy to come by kenneth keeps all his own art you had original malin uh, art and then malin went above and beyond and chucked in a whole heap of extras uh, you had myself, I gave away a replicator four page uh, and, and so on and so on and so on. And creators just kept donating and donating and donating and th like they don't get anything from it. Um, and it turned into like Crackhead giving away one of his original Dan Fragger, uh, Fragtober pieces into this ginormous giveaway where there was 40 plus prizes and I, I thought it was just, it's its its everything that we should hope CG is. And it, it was amazing for me. One of the one of the top moments of 2022, but one of the top moments of all time for me. Uh, so thanks, man. Do it again. I love this kind of stuff. I, I want to see more of it. It's, it's just so great. All right. Honorable mention before we get to the number one. Battle Brick Road. Uh I don't know why I'm particularly highlighting this. Just the fact that I think Eric broke a hundred thousand dollars when his last campaign was thirty-five thousand. Uh, just the growth. Uh, Eric's a great guy. Uh, he is a letter on the majority of CG books and is professional and does a great job. Um, this is just another campaign that was put together really well, but helped out with some amazing timing from uh, Eric getting this Kenneth Roquefort cover, which was originally meant to be just a trading card. And 
you know, the fan response to it was was exceptional. I think it was, it might have been the first Kenneth Rokerfort cover in CG. Don't quote me, I might be wrong. Uh, but like you can see here, he sold 581 copies of that by itself. So absolutely incredible. Um, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. All right, but the number one moment for CG is the Ripperverse. And I, I don't know if Eric is technically CG, CG, Jason. Uh, it, it does, he's happy to talk to people with CG. It doesn't matter to me. As as long as he's, you know, he's appreciative of the fans, which he is, uh, you know, he's appreciative of people that help him, that's fine with me. It's all it, it, it's all great. But the what he's been able to do, no one has been close to doing. Like it's it's not even in the same uh galaxy star system universe whatever you want to call it this is like above and beyond like i was talking the other day ethan incredible success like the next closest person to ethan is around four hundred thousand dollars right ethan's at 1.2 million uh eric july or young ripper has got 1.9 million dollars in what three or four or five days it's absolutely insane the amount of people that are now looking at independent comics just a, that weren't before has increased dramatically. We're getting people buying other books. Murph said it the other day. He's had five purchases from people that were looking at the Ripperverse stuff. Um, I hit a 1,000 subs really quickly uh, after being stagnated for a while. You know, People are coming in and looking at books and backing books and talking about this. It's undeniable now. What he's done is, is getting headlines from news outlets where, where previously they were ignoring what's happening here. So this is the most impressive moment, I think, of 2022, and I, I don't think anyone could argue against it. But let me know down in the comments, do you have any other moments that, you, that stood out for you in 2022? Because these three, I think, were just... For me, the highlights, I can't think of anything else that was so good. But if you haven't already, please hit like, hit, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.